here we have the flight computer. Here's the battery, the altimeter, power switch, speaker, program button, arm button, built-in G switch. This is an external trigger set up to be a switch. Here's servo modem one and servo motor two. To show you how to configure the computer, hold down the arm button and turn it on. The S indicates that you're in the configure mode. A parameter is described by the decimal point. So here we're setting parameter 0 and its value is 3. To advance to the next value, press the program button and to advance a parameter, press the arm button. And they will just cycle through until you have set all of the settings. And so here we're changing parameter 5, 6, 7, advance to the next parameter, its value is V, and we advance it to the next position. Here we're configuring the servo motor position. When you're done with the configuration, just turn it off. Now we're going to demonstrate the normal operation of the flight computer. So we just simply turn it on. Motors initialize to their default positions. And we can then set the first delay simply by pressing the program button. When we're happy with the first delay setting, we can then set the second delay. When that's done and we're ready to arm the system, push the arm button and now the rocket waits for launch. We will simulate launch by pressing this external trigger. Now the rocket is flying up. First parachute's out. Now we wait for the second and the second parachute's out. Now the rocket's descending and the lost alarm is waiting to be triggered. And now the lost alarm starts sounding. Now we found the rocket and we turn the system off. Now I'm going to show you the factory reset. What you have to do is push both buttons at the same time and turn it on. That will show you an R, that means it's in reset mode. And now it asks you to confirm the reset, push reset again, and all the values have been reset to their default values. When you finish, simply turn it off.